hello family and friends oh well today was the day we had to cut those all those trees down remember they were all dry it was uh, like three in there and then like about 15 of them in here I think so they're all laying down oh, it's a lot of work and I'm using the 8N to uh, to drag it actually has a have a pretty good system worked out I think I hook up with the, with the tractor, pull them up in here, and I delim them. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'm putting them down there. So then, when I'm all done with that, then I'm gonna cut them, split them, and bring them back to the to the wood pile with the other stuff. So yeah, it's working pretty slick. Just kind of wanted to. To kind of fill you guys into uh, one of them was kind of sketchy started going one way and next thing you know the wind picked up a little bit and turned totally the opposite direction so but for the most part uh, it's not bad some decent size uh, size wood this is all Norway pine and uh, it's some kind of bugs that got them there's all those holes in there you can tell so there was some kind of bugs that got these uh, it started yeah. it started uh, I want to say a couple of years ago it was a super dry summer usually trees can defend themselves or survive stuff like that but it was like super dry so they struggled to begin with and then and when those bugs came they just couldn't keep up so they died I do have, I'm not sure you can see those three there, the top is still green, um, everything else looked like it died, but since it's still green I left them alone, um, see what happens, those ones, there's some couple of them over there, same thing, they have some green on them, so as long as they're still fighting and they're trying, I left them alone, but yeah, these ones are, are done for. So, yeah, good times. So the plan is, I want to keep going, and I'm going to keep delimiting these, and put them up in the pile that I showed you, and then I'll, I'll block them up and, and split them. Once I get to that point, um, and actually I'm using my, uh, my Milwaukee little chainsaw, little battery chainsaw. So I had this battery in here since I started and I delimbed I know all those there and yeah I still I think I have about half oh no I still have three three lines so it's really slick little chainsaw for, for this job beats uh, starting and stopping the, the gas chainsaw and plus I don't have the fumes and the noise so it works pretty slick and uh, the aid end is doing a great job I'm just having so much fun pulling the stuff around uh, the first time mowed like this morning I started by mowing this whole little uh, used to be a little pasture for us so I mowed all this down because once I make this pile this winter early winter I want to burn it so I want to make sure the grass is short so yeah, it's been uh, it's been fun so far. Hopefully uh, we can keep going and no problems. So see what happens. Well, we did all the limbing done. We got all the limbing done. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all all done. All the trees are gone now. This is my third trailer of just crap I picked up. I did replace the battery for the last two logs, so it didn't quite last the whole shebang, but pretty close. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go unload this stuff. I'm gonna try to use up whatever's left in the gas tank for the chainsaw and block some of that stuff up over there. And uh, I'll do a count to see how many trees we actually ended up with. Oh, I'm pooped. Um, I'm ready for another beer, but yeah, getting there. 
and uh, yeah the temps are dropping fast but I'm hoping I can just uh, finish up that gas tank quick and block some of them things up and then pick up from what we left off tonight uh, tomorrow morning yep so here we are our gas um, so we did end up with 20 logs uh, and between cutting them down and all that stuff uh, I still have a whole bunch here to go but that's a good start they all feel super light so it should be nice and dry I'm still gonna split them because of my gasification unit it, it still likes it uh, split but uh, it should give us good heat for the first month or two I'm, I'm hoping between what I have in there now with some of the other logs I mean if you watch the other videos the logs I had in there on that lean-to it's uh, some ash from last year and some more of these uh, Norways that died a couple of years ago at our cabin and we cut down um, so between those and these and that ash oh, would be nice to to go through at least um, well October November maybe part of December before we ta tap into our wood that we cut and split this year so we'll see but yeah so this is it for tonight um, just finished this off here gas is all gone so um, I think I'll just cream myself up and go in and have supper and maybe watch a movie with the kids and whatnot and I'll try to be out here early in the morning I like to block and split all these tomorrow and have them all piled up and good to go so by the end of the weekend it's all said and done but also uh, small game is open as of today in Minnesota so the wife wants to go and do a little bit of a riding around and see if we can find a few partridge or grouse so we can at least have a meal um, I don't like going out this early because I mean there's just so much cover for them it's hard to see them but what's nice on our 40 over here just the other day I was driving down to check one of my game cameras and I spooked up at least 15 of them so we'll see maybe I'll go for a drive tomorrow just you know just to do make the, the wife happy but also if I really am short of some meat I can uh, just go for a walk along the, the edge of the brush I have a, actually a trail that's mowed all the way down to the end and that's where I saw those grouse so if we do shoot one or two or three or four um, we can always uh, try to limit out right here on our 40 so yeah see what happens I'm ready for some supper and some cold beers so see what happens tomorrow well it turns out my chainsaw made me a liar uh, it sure acted like it was out of gas but when I checked it was uh, <laughs> still some gas in there so I was able to block some of these these up so this is all I have left for the morning which is nice uh, top it off in the morning and finish this off then I can split these before the family even wakes up and already to to do some hunting so we'll be in good shape here I want to show you just look at all that just all the bugs they got in there and just killed this tree it's really bad yeah look at all that holes and stuff like the trees are so dried up like they <laughs> actually really really easy and really light to handle um, but yeah so there we are that's all we have left on that side now kind of sad but it is what it is so uh, yeah we'll uh, call it a night tonight Ooh, okay now that you guys see that so that's a grain bin that we we bought from a neighbor well 
he passed away. He lived just on the other side of those trees. There's an old homestead. That's where the grain bin comes from. So once he passed away, his family had an auction sale, an estate auction, and we ended up buying the thing for 500 bucks. Um, so last weekend, I wish I would have filmed it, but last weekend we ended up actually lifting it up and putting it on the trailer. And uh, yeah, we have another couple of weeks to use that trailer so I'll have to I'll have to move here pretty quick and move it to the spot we wanted to but that thing was uh, it's something different I've never used the uh, silo jacks before so I wish I would have had time to actually film that thing but I did not so <laughs> uh, I might try to film when we actually put it down to the spot we want it so you guys can see how the jacks work and all this stuff so yeah more projects and not much time left I'm not sure if you guys can hear but there's geese all over in the background they're rounding up they're ready to head south so it's definitely fall and uh I'm happy to have this wood and once I get this in the shed or in the lean to with everything else we have I think we are ready as far as firewood goes we'll just have to button up a few other projects such as that thing that I wasn't counting on but you know it is what it is so all right well see what happens tomorrow Well, plans changed, it didn't work out as I wanted to. So now it's two days later. Um, yeah, today's Monday. I wanted to finish all this up on Sunday, but uh, I had to go and help out, help out the sheriff's office. They called me in for a day. So I pulled in a 12 hour shift yesterday and here I am now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I finished cutting up all those logs, blocking them up. And now they split one load you can kind of tell the difference but I think I'm gonna have way too much I think I'll have about four of these trailer loads so I can probably do one and a half more before I run out of room I like to leave I'm not sure if you can see there's a window I like to leave that open so if I open my window I can get some breeze plus I like to look from that window um, out on the field to see coyotes and deer and whatnot so I want to leave that open um, so yeah I think maybe one and a half loads um, and then I'll have to I do have those pallets over there I can use one of those right next to the stove and pile some some on there too so I have options but yeah I want to go get this done so we can move on to to bigger and better things starting tomorrow so the plan is what I want to do tomorrow after work is actually pick all the tomatoes and actually pull the plants up and then I think we have some beans left but I'll do the same thing I'll just pull the plants pick the beans off as I go uh, dig up the carrots and then we have some beads left in the back that the wife wants to do some stuff with so at least I want to get that far enough oh and the onions so if I can get that side of the garden done tomorrow uh, the wife is off on Wednesday so she wants to do some canning of the carrots and some other stuff but then also I can take this section of the garden down which would allow me to move that thing hopefully not this coming weekend but at least you'll be ready for it. This coming weekend we should get quite a bit of rain, so I'm a little bit worried that the garden's gonna soften up. So I won't be able to drive through here with that thing, but we'll see. That's just projects and projects, but that's the plan so far. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish the wood and go from there and call it the other one. I can zoom in, what the heck? 
anyway. How about now? Yeah, there you go. Boom, look at all the watermelons there. Little baby ones. Um, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go finish splitting. Yeah, so we have <laughs> that pile and all these to, to split yet, so I have a little bit of work in front of me yet. So I'm thinking three more loads. I don't know, we'll see. I'm taking bets right now. Winner takes a subscription to the channel, how about that? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's go. Well, there's another load. Still have that left and this left. So I think, yeah, we'll get probably two more loads out of it. We'll see. Well, there's load number two. And yeah, we only have a little bit of room left here. I actually went a little bit higher than I would like to for that window, but anyway, yeah, I think up to this little chunk here, we're gonna have to uh, set up on those pallets. Well, okay.
guys, load number two. Technically three, but yeah, load number two. <laughs> and I think we're gonna have, yeah, between those and this, probably one hell of a last load or load and a half. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'll go pile these up. Well, it's getting kind of late. This is trail number three. And not done. So I was wrong, but uh, it's getting kind of dark to film. So yeah, I'll go unload this quick. Then I'll come back and finish this load here. It's not so by the house because I have lights, but I just want to make sure I have enough light, daylight left here to split these bastards. And this project should be done. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, many more projects to come. So. Subscribe and follow us.